So Martin, we are living in very fascinating times. And the conservatives over the world, whether it now be the one in Brazil who's not in power, or the one which is in Argentine who is in power, who spoke so vehemently against the Pope mm -hmm. and yeah. ran to the Pope with fear and trembling, bowing down, kissing him, leaning over backwards just to bask in the sunlight of his acceptance. Will these birds of a feather all flock together? It's starting already, for Why sure. Is it happening in Europe, the swing to the right? Yep. Is it happening in the South Americas, the swing to the right? Let's have a look at this, Martin. President! Make Argentina great again. Viva la libertad, carajo! I'll just mention a few. President of Argentina, who's gotten a lot of publicity. He's gotten a lot. He's a great gentleman. You know, he's MAGA. He's MAGA. Make Argentina great again. It's true. Lindo día para hacer temblar a la, a la izquierda. Day to make the left wing shake. No dejen avanzar el socialismo. Don't let socialism advance. Is it a declaration of war? Yeah, for sure, from against the king of the south. King of the north is flexing his muscles. He's coming with the economy, he's coming with ships, he's coming with military power, mm -hmm. and he's overrunning the king of the south. And it is happening before our eyes, and few people actually see it. Now, let's just make absolutely sure. Church and state together, that's mm. the image of the beast. Mm. Donald Trump, is he promising to bring church and state together? Yes. Let's have a look. More than ever. For hardworking Americans, November 5th will be our new Liberation Day. But for the liars and cheaters and fraudsters and censors and imposters who have commandeered our government, it will be their judgment day. Their judgment day. Ladies and gentlemen, with your help and God's grace, the great revival of America begins on November 5th, 2024. We'll be able to do it because you're the people we want to hear from, the pastors and the ministers and the rabbis. The people in this room are the people we want to hear from, and they have to have a political voice. You know, if you think about it, you have men, you have women, and you have religion. If you look at it, you have more than the men, you have more than the women. You have such power, but you really, you weren't allowed to use that power, and you're now allowed to use it. I get in there, you're going to be using that power at a level that you've never used it before. It's going to bring back the churchgoer. I mean, you have to see. I don't like the charts when I see charts where they're going in the wrong direction. We don't like that. We're going to bring it back, and I really believe it's the biggest thing missing from this country. It's the biggest thing missing. We have to bring back our religion. We have to bring back Christianity in this country. And I will fight even harder for Christians with four more years in the White House. We did things that uh, the likes of which nobody has ever done for Christians in this country. And I'm very proud of that and honored by it. So evangelists like the late, great Pat Robertson, who was a great gentleman, got to know him very well. Great evangelist. And of course, Billy Graham. How good was Billy Graham, right? I remember my father took me to Yankee Stadium and Billy Graham was preaching and it was amazing. I was very young. My father loved Billy Graham. And that place was packed bigger than any World Series game, bigger than anything anybody's ever seen. And it was packed. And uh, we would love to bring it back to those days, Jack, right? We'd love to bring it back to those days. Amazing. Our country would greatly benefit by it. Well, Martin, irrespective of the fact that many of those religious leaders that he mentioned were high masons, the fact of the matter is they want to bring mm. the power mm. back to the church. That is the image of the beast. 
So Martin, these, these convocations that they have, like CPAC, where church and state mingle and talk about these issues. True. Now, Nigel Farage of, of England is the one that was recently in the news about uh, his banking situation, where they closed his bank accounts, etc. Uh, he also believes that the pendulum is swinging. Yeah. So let's hear what he has to say. And some idiot on Saturday Night Live says, what is debanking? Does it really exist? So we find on the other side denial at everything we try to expose and raise. But I am hopeful, I'm optimistic, that we can get that pendulum to swing back. That we can get that pendulum to swing back. Because still, in all of our countries, there is a majority for common sense. We might not see that common sense if we watch CNN or read the New York Times or listen to many on Capitol Hill, but it's the same in every country. You get outside the capital cities and you find a clear, solid majority for common sense. It's interesting that he says those outside there in the country mm. are the ones that have the common sense. And uh, we'll see that the other side says that those out there in the country are the enemy. Yeah. So it's a war. It's, it's a north-south war. And it's heating up. And the pendulum, he says, is going to swing. Mm -hmm. And he says it's going to swing in all the countries. He says. So it will start in the United States and it will quickly spread to other areas of the world mm -hmm. where people are fed up with the kind of rule of law that has been operating over the last decade. That's it. And everybody, especially when they're on the conservative side, are very optimistic that the globalists will be shunned out and the conservative religious right will rule again as it should, according to them. And Martin, it will be Protestant America. Yeah actually secret ru secretly run by the Roman Catholic hierarchy because the whole of the CIA and all of those are actually Knight of Malta mm -hmm. organizations. They will do it in the United States and in the rest of the world the papacy will see its resurgence. Yeah. So it will have a resurrection. It will be the eighth and part of the seventh. Yeah. Hmm.